there, thank you for joining us today. I am here with Kate from Cybex and today we will be talking about car seats and car seat safety. So we get asked a lot of questions here in store. One of the common questions we get asked is in regards to the safety regulations of car seats. Are you able to explain them to us? Yeah, of course. So there's two main um, car seat regulations um, on the market that every car seat has to go, to, uh, go through um, before it's is be able to be sold on the market. So no, the first regulation is R4404. Um, so to explain a little bit more, this is actually based on uh, the weight of the child in terms of when they outgrow it um, as well and where, when it, it starts from. Um, and this regulation, the crash testing that's done is a frontal test, a rearward test and a rollover test to be able to be sold on the market and, and pass that. Um, the latest regulation is actually called R129i size. Um, with this latest standard, um, it still has the frontal testing, rearward testing and rollover test, um, but it's now compliant for every car seat to be side impact tested as well. Um, not only that, it's all based on, whereas R4404 is uh, based on the weight and also the height, um, it's based on height now, um, and the length of the child in terms of R129 eyesight. So it's always important um, to really focus on that in terms of looking at how long little one's going to be in, in that car seat. Um, rearward facing as well now with the latest regulation um, is till 15 months. So on R4404, you have to keep a child, um, they could go forward facing at nine kilograms. On R129 eyesight, they have to stay rearward facing until they're at least 15 months. This is all down to the fact that it's a lot safer for a child to be rearward facing. So a baby's um, head is actually 25% of their body weight compared to an adult's, it's actually our head 6% of our body weight. So that just shows you there, gives you an idea of why it's a lot safer for the child to be rearward because then the seat's actually taking um, that impact rather than the, the child being forward facing. Um, especially with uh, frontal collisions um, that can happen on the road at those higher speeds. Right. So really important for rearward facing for as long as possible. Must be 15 months um, with R129 eye size, um, but we actually, um, on the market have seats that go rearward facing up into 105 centimetres in height, uh, roughly four years old. So we get asked um, a lot about the fit um, in cars um, and the compatibility. Again, are you able to explain a bit about that as well? Yeah, of course. So there's two main ways of fitting your car seat into a car. Um, so number one is you can seat belt the car seat in. Um, so with our Cloud Z here, so this is our infant carrier um, that goes from birth up to around 24 months. Um, this is all based, it's R129 eyesight, so it's based on that height. Um, but in terms of your seat belt fit in, you always follow when fitting it in rearward facing, which you would with this infant carrier, you always follow those blue guides. So you've got um, two blue guides at the front here, which is <clears throat> where the lap belt goes and another blue guide at the back. So your lap belt would go across and then your shoulder belt goes round the back here. And of course it would be rearward facing like this in the car. <clears throat> the most important thing um, with fitting your car seat in uh, seat belted is you must make sure all the slacks taken out of the seat belt to make it a really nice and secure fit um, in the vehicle itself. Um, as well and at you guys here it's amazing service that you do in terms of uh, demonstrations in the car um, so it's also great in times where you can to also have it checked in the vehicle as well to, to make sure it fits so that's your seat belt um, second option is actually an isofix base so I've got our um, Z base here um, so all you need to basically have is double check if you have isofix points in your vehicle and um, so they're located at the back of your vehicle seat um, just two prongs at the back there and then there the isofix base is actually fitted into those prongs in the car um, you then get green indicators at the side to show that it's actually fixed in uh, they go red from red to green then you have your support leg as well. So this is your second point of contact there to the vehicle itself. Um, you just squeeze that, drop that all the way down. And again, you've got your red to green guides here that it will then go green when it's fitted. All you have to do once you've fixed it in the car is then line it up, drop your infant carrier on, no seat belt needed at all. So um, once that's dropped on, 
uh, no seatbelt at all, it's all fixed in, got all your green guides there and uh, our award winning Cloud Z actually has, so we're the only brand on the market um, where you can actually swivel your infant carrier. So all you do is you slide your green and your grey at the side. This will allow this to swivel, which actually really saves um, parents' back, back. So amazing in terms of getting a little one in and out as well. Um, with this seat as well, with the base, you can actually purchase your next stage seat, which we've got just here. Um, that will just pop onto the same base. So you're just investing in the one base. And then this whole system lasts um, from birth, but up to 105 centimetres in height. Uh, roughly around about four years old, so two seats, one base, which is amazing. Again, where can we find out about the compatibility um, to see if car seats actually fit in our cars? Yeah, of course. So um, we actually have on our website, um, we've got, so just cybex.com, we've got a compatibility checklist. Um, and all you literally do is select which car seat. So if it's Cloud Z, click on that, type your make, model and year of, of your car. And then it gives you the green ticks or crosses if for any reason it's not compatible, um, but easy way to check as well. Uh, seat belt fitting, you would, it's great if you can get um, a physical demonstration. Um, but yeah, with Isofix, you can just check online. So it's really nice and easy. Uh, what options do we have in terms of infant car seats? Number one is what we have here. So uh, with our infant carrier, um, of course, uh, only brand currently that has this swivel as well. Um, this infant carrier lasts from birth, um, from your 45 centimetres up until uh, 87 centimetres in little one's height. Um, that's actually roughly it's one of the longest lasting on the market, so up to 24 months roughly. Um, which is fantastic. Great thing about the infant carrier is it's designed with your carry handle there to just pop in and out um, of your car and you can actually put it onto your push chair. Right. So really convenient. If little ones are asleep um, in the car seat, they can literally just pop it onto their push chair with the car seat adapters um, and then they're all good to go, um, which okay. is fantastic. And then we also do have an amazing function, um, which is just, Um, a live flat position. So at the back here, you've actually just got um, a button. And if you pull that down and drop it out, outside of the vehicle, you can actually have this position, which is amazing. Um, because there is, it's really important to know actually for all parents that um, having little one in an infant carrier, in this position here, there's a maximum of two hours where they should be in there really whilst traveling in the car, all to do with their airways and the position that they're in. Um, however, outside of the vehicle, so they must take a break after that, outside of the vehicle with ours, you can drop it flat. There's now no time limit at all uh, for little ones to be in there. So out and about on the push chair, if little ones asleep, you can just drop it out and not have to disturb them at all, which is just an amazing function and convenient. So another common question we get asked, um, and it's a question that I wish I had the answer to when my little one was a lot younger, um, was with, to do with the harness. How do we know that we've made it tight enough or if it's too loose, is, is there a way of, of making sure we do it correctly? Yeah, of course. So really, really important thing to know. Um, so where you would sort of start is on ours, you've got a button just at the bottom here. Um, this will actually adjust your harness. And the best way to be able to um, do it up is something called we call the pinch test. So to make sure it's tight enough. So what you want to do is just pop your harness so you're doing it up. Um, start to tighten it and then when you can actually pinch it at the top there right. um, and actually get that, you can see it's fully pinched with that slack, um, you know that it's still too loose. So you want to actually continue to tighten and then when you can actually no longer get that pinch and your fingers just run off that harness, you'll know that it's tight enough then for little one to be secure. Thank you so much. Um, another question we get asked is in regards to baby being in the car seat and wearing, a, say, a thick coat and having the harness done up. Are there any rules in regards to that? Yeah, so that's a, another really important question. So um, in terms of coats and sleep suits, any bulky clothing in a car seat, um, it's really important um, to actually not have any clothing like that when the child is in the car seat. The main reason for this is because it's all to do with that padding um, and 
inner force, what can actually happen is that padding can flatten and that then means um, that the harness is actually then too loose and not tight enough across the, the child, which um, can cause the child coming out of that harness. So really, really important um, to actually just not have any coats or, or sleep suits. However, have a blanket, blanket's absolutely fine um, to pop over once the little one's done up or um, ourselves, we have a, a foot mask that you can pop in there as well. Okay, so moving forward, as baby is growing bigger, what can we be looking at in terms of next stage car seats? Yeah, of course. So this is our Serona Z. Um, so one way that this uh, car seat can be used is actually it's a modular system here with our Cloud Z. Um, so Cloud Z can go on the Z base um, from birth up to um, that 87 centimetres in height, roughly around about uh, 24 months. And then this is the next stage seat that goes on the same base that um, you've invested to in already. Um, so that can be your next stage. However, if you don't necessarily need the functions with your infant carrier, um, where you need it to go on a push chair, um, then or light flat outside of the vehicle, then the Serona Z can actually be used from birth. So you don't have to purchase the infant carrier. You can purchase this seat and use it from birth and then it lasts it, um, up until that 105 centimetres, roughly around four years old. Um, and you do still have that full use of the swivel function, which is amazing, um, saving parents back, which is fantastic. So um, that just swivels round and then you can have it from birth in the fully reclined position with your newborn insert inlay in there as well to protect little one from birth. In terms of your transition as well between your car seats, um, so these seats here are R129i size, so it's all looking to do with little one's height. Um, so we actually make it nice and clear here to check when they're outgrowing the car seat as well. Um, so we have our driver direction control. So this will then show you um, for rearward facing your little one can't go forward facing until the headrest and their head is reaching the 76 centimetres in height. So this red line here. Yeah, so right. this red line at the top, um, it's amazing because of the fact that you have this red button at the back here. Right. Um, and then what this actually shows on this button um, is that 15 months mark. So the parents looking at the height here, seeing if the child's yet 76 centimetres in height, before it will allow the seat to turn, they have to go behind the fabrics and just press that button up to confirm their 15 months. Right. But actually it's really to show I can keep this seat rearward for a lot longer. I don't, it's a lot safer. Um, do I want to turn them forward facing yet? Um, but strongly follow those guides there to know um, when little ones outgrowing. Uh, the next stage. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, if our customers want to learn a bit more about Cybex, where can they find out more about you? So um, you can find out on the customers can have a look on our website. Great for the compatibility as mentioned earlier. Um, but of course, there are some more demonstration videos of the actual car seats um, we've done with you guys. So customers can check that out on, on your social media. Um, but thank you very much for having me. It's been great. Thank you. Thank you.